hi this is uh, pradeep so now we will see load characteristics of dc shunt generator so this is the circuit diagram shown and uh, first firstly we excite the motor through variable uh, dc supply that is 0 to 220 volts to the armature and for the field fixed 220 volts dc supply and motor is made to run at rated speed and rated voltage this motor drives generator which is mechanically coupled at 1500 rpm since this is self self excited generator so initially it will generate around 100 to 120 volts and by using the rheostat of generator which is initially in contained position uh, by cutting out we excite from 120 to 210 or 220 volts which is rated and <clears throat> once we get rated voltage we vary the load and apply till rated rated current that rated current is around 10 ampere in this case that is the generator watt we are using is 2.2 kilowatt and uh, 220 volts is applied so approximately 10 ampere current will be flowing across the load so <coughs> so similar connection is there for uh, compound generator that is long shunt and short shunt uh, in long shunt we have cumulative and differential in short shunt we have uh, cumulative and differential in long shunt in long shunt in long shunt uh, we are uh, conducting we will conduct the experiments for uh, differential and cumulative this procedure for all uh, that is compound and shunt is same so we will conduct the experiment here we should note that rheostat of motor should be in cutout position and rheostat of generator should be in cut in position initially so this is the experimental setup we have uh, that is you can see here this is the motor circuit for motor circuit uh, armature supply is given and field supply is given field supply is given through rheostat and there is no ammeter connected in field circuit in this case and uh, generator output generator output is given to the <coughs> load that is uh, lamp load in this case we are using all the switches that is by short circuiting uh, r y b phases and uh, we are taking uh, between r and neutral such that we are including all 3.6 kilowatt load that is all the three uh, rows switches we are using in this case so you can see this is the uh, our <coughs> field current of the generator and this is the output current of the generator which is going to the load and this rheostat is for field circuit of generator so we will conduct the experiment by switching on the main supply so we should make sure that uh, the armature knob that is uh, va uh, variable which is uh, 0 to 220 volts is at initial position that is 0 position so switch on and we are I am increasing the speed of the motor to rated speed that is 1500 So if necessary use the rheostat which is present in the field circuit of the motor to, to get it to 1500 rpm. So once it runs at 1500 rpm we have given excitation of around 220 volts. So the output of the the output of the 
DC uh, shunt generator is around 145 now by increasing the rheostat that is bringing from cut, cut into cut out position and uh, we should try to maintain the speed speed to 1500 rpm so we'll i'm exciting the field circuit of generator to get around rate, rated voltage that it is around 220 once we achieve this once we achieve this uh, we'll switch on the loads lamp load for different rated current in this case it is 1 ampere now for 1 ampere note down the speed and voltage voltage will reduce that is terminal voltage will reduce as you increase the load so you can see here it is now 209 and load current has increased so for different load currents in steps from 0 to 10 ampere uh, take around 10 readings and plot the graph so here I am showing only two readings now I'll uh, reduce the load so you can see here it is around 220 volts so reverse procedure I'll uh, perform and bring back all the equipments to initial position So, experiment is conducted. So now for, uh, this is the procedure for uh, shunt generator, DC shunt generator. For DC compound generator, uh, this is the circuit. So in this circuit, you can observe that only series winding and shunt winding are simultaneously used so hence it is called as compound generator so in this case this is long shunt so in that case we are using this as series winding sorry shunt winding and this is as series winding s for series and f for shunt so with a small change in the connection we perform the same uh, procedure and we get the same uh, type of graph so we see here this type of graph is achieved for compound cumulative long shunt compound cumulative short shunt and and other two graphs for <coughs> and other two graphs for uh, differential cumulative differential uh, compound shunt, uh, shunt uh, winding and another for uh, differential uh, compound long shunt so this is how the experiment is been uh, conducted thank you